Hello everyone and welcome to this Python for Automation Testing series. In this particular tutorial, we will be learning about arrays. So let's begin. First, let's understand about the arrays. So in Python, an array is a collection of elements where all the elements have the same data type. So let me go to the notepad here and write it down. So array is basically a collection of elements having same data type. And when we talk about the list, so list is also can store the multiple elements, but of the different data types as well. And when we talk about arrays versus list, the arrays are more structured. So more structured and they are more efficient because in terms of working with the large data set. So efficient when you are working with large data set of same type. However, in Python, the Python does not have a built-in array data type like the other programming languages. But what we can do is that we can use the array module to create and work with the arrays. So let's see how we can create and work with the arrays so let's go to the pie charm over here and let me create one new file. I'm naming it as arrays. So when we talk about the arrays itself, so first thing is that we need to import, import, and we need to import array. So after importing this, we can create the array. So array is equals to array dot array and here I need to use our type code for the sign integers if we're getting the array of the integers here so I comma now here we will be giving the values which will initialize okay for the array so let's say 10 20 30 40 50 Okay, and now let's go here and print this array and run this one and see what happens. So you see that the array has been printed over here. Okay, and when we talk about accessing the array elements, so simply what we can do is that because array is index based, so we can access the element based on the index. So a rr which is our variable name over here and for example the first value which is based on the zero index over here if i run this one you see that we got the value 10. now what we can do is that we can do the slicing over here as well so simply let me copy this one paste it here and i say for example one colon four we have already explained uh, what is slicing and how slicing work. So I'm just executing this statement just to show you that that we can slice the array here as well. So you, you can see that we have now 20, 30 and 40 based on our slicing criteria, which is one column four. And also what we can do is that the array is mutable, which means that we can append, insert, remove and pop from the array. And what I can do is that simply I can append. So I'll say ar dot append and let's append a value. And if I print this array again, you will see that this time you will get a 60 value here as well. Now, if we want to remove the value, so what I will do is that ar dot then we have a method called remove and the value which we need to remove for example we need to remove 30 from this one so it would now remove the 30 from the array and if i print this one you see that there is no more 30 in this particular array now when we talk about array more so what we can do is that we can traverse traverse means that we can loop through the array elements so what i will do is that simply write a loop for element in array and simply I'll say 
print. So it will iterate through each of the array element and it will print every element from the array. So if I run this one, you will see that 10, 20, 40, 50, and 60 got printed. And for example, and if you want to search for an element, we can use the index method. Okay. So what this means is that if I go here and go to the print and say air dot index and index for the value 20. Okay. And if I run this one, you will see that it will give me an index value. So this 20 is basically on the index 1. If I go here, you will see that 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So if I go to, let's say we have, we have 50, right? So if I ask for the 50 over here, you will see that we will get the index value 3. So let me summarize this errors for you and uh, if I go back here so errors are basically a collection of elements having the same data type and they are more structured they are more efficient when you have to work with a large data set of the same time in contrast list is also a collection of elements but of the different data types as well okay and this is a basic uh, you know difference and in order to use the errors what we did is that we use this we used this array module, we imported this one, we created the array, we actually access the value, slice it, append the value, remove the value, add it over the array elements. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you like our content, then do like, comment, share and subscribe our channel. Once again, thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial.